Fine Brian is back. Come along, if you will, for another day of aviation adventure. Here's the airplane I have reserved, November 2055 Echo. It's a 1978 Cessna 172 N model. I've already completed a pre-flight inspection of the aircraft and I am ready to go. I just completed my pre-takeoff checks and I am taxiing on the parallel taxiway out to the end of runway 23 here at Charlotte Monroe Executive Airport. The only item left is to input the four letter identifier for the Anson County Airport into the flight plan of the GPS system. Okay, that is done and I am ready to depart. Listening to the radio, I know there is one other aircraft in the traffic pattern, and he is no factor, but I look up the final approach to make sure no one is on short final. I roll out onto the runway, center up on the runway center line, smoothly apply full throttle, Hold a little back pressure on the control yoke and the airplane will lift off when it's ready to fly. I'll climb straight ahead on the runway heading. My plan is to fly downwind and depart the area on a heading of 060 degrees, climbing to 3,500 MSL. There's the turn to crosswind. And the turn to downwind. Downwind heading is basically 060 degrees, so all I need to do is continue to fly this heading and climb to 3.5. The plan today is to fly several different instrument approaches. The first being the RNAV approach to runway 16 at the Anson County Airport. The initial approach fix is a waypoint called Jorga, which I just added to my GPS flight plan. And that is the point I am currently flying to. Looking at the approach plate, I will need to begin the approach at an altitude of at or above 3000 MSL. Once I get to Jorga, I will make a right turn to the inbound course of 161 degrees. It also looks like there's some precipitation out there.
There's 3,500 on my altimeter, so it's time to level off. And that will do it for this video. Watch for part two, the approach to Anson County. Until then, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride.